Hi everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons here, and today we are going to be making this motorcycle. Now, here's another motorcycle, and what's really cool about this design is that these are the same design. So just by making a few modifications to the proportions, you can go from this to this. So I'm going to show you how to make this one. And then I'll show you this one again, and you can uh, you can see the different variations that I've made, the, the modifications. Okay, so we'll do this one first. All right. Pick a color for the body of the bike. I'm going to go with goldenrod. You just need one goldenrod or whatever color you choose. Uh, four or five pumps. Give yourself, I don't know, five, six tails, six finger tail rather and start with a couple of pinch twists about one inch pinch twists like that come back a little bit more than a hands width and make a nice big pinch twist Come back another hands width, a little bit smaller than the front one. Okay, you can see it's a little bit smaller. And put another couple of pinch twists. This can be a little smaller, doesn't much matter. Two pinch twists there. Okay, we're going to match that bubble coming back up. Now we're going to basically do a bird body without having to do the roll through. So there's one and back down to two. Take the remainder and get rid of it. And there you can see what we've got. Okay, we're going to go with gray now. Suppose if you wanted you could do another color. We're going to need actually two of these. And we are leaving, oh, I don't know, what is that, seven finger tail? Okay. We're going to start off with a smallish loop, maybe about three finger loop, three fingers, three and a half maybe. And then two pinch twists, half inch pinch twists. Now at this point, we've got that's the front front tire. Just decide how long you want this to be. Okay, it's totally up to you how long you want to make that. I make mine maybe five fingers, and that gets twisted in to the part the two pinch twists at the front where you have three. Okay, not the part that's the back where you have two. So the part where you have three, twist that in those pinch twists like that now we're going to come down about four fingers and make a pinch twist we're going to come across about four fingers and make a pinch twist and another uh, three and a half fingers maybe just a little bit smaller than than the other two a little smaller. So three fingers. Bring this right here up to the center part right there. Okay, like that. And now we're going to bring this back down. Oh, and you know, I goofed. But that's okay. We can fix it. I left out the engine. That's why we have so much left here. Okay. And pop the rest of this off. I'm supposed to do a loop twist here, and I forgot it. But that's okay because we can make it out of our second balloon, our second gray. So again, leave yourself a good six fingers on that. We're going to attach this right here at the front two pinch twists. Okay. 
Turn that around a few times, get it in there nice and tight. Now we're going to come down the front and match that. Right there. Okay. Take it around the pinch twist. And now we're going to make our small loop. Okay. We'll make a, a small loop. That's going to be our engine. Okay. Now again, we're going to match. So that was four fingers into the back pinch twist. Take this loop and move it up inside the frame. Like that. Take this and point it down. And if it's pointing too straight out, you can pull apart these two front bubbles and push it down just a little bit. And kind of wedge it, wedge it in there a little bit, and that'll get it so that it's pointing more down instead of out. Okay, now this balloon in the back, we want coming straight out. We want to make a small bubble, small bubble, two half-inch pinch twists. and a loop. Break off the rest. Okay. This is what we've got so far. We need our black for our tires and our seat and then we need handlebars. So let's grab a black. We're going to be breaking this one a lot. So don't put too much in it. We're going to be breaking it off. Attach at the pinch twist, the front tire, or the back tire, doesn't matter which order you do them in. Bring it around and twist it in. Okay, and like I said, we're going to be breaking this off a lot. That's our front tire. Do the same for the back tire. Wrap into the pinch twist. Take it around, twist it in. Break it off. And tie it. Again. Put that inside there. And these two pinch twists, you want on either side of the, the tire. Okay. Now, this back part here does hit the tire. It's not a big deal. It's not like the tire rolls anyhow. Um, so that's fine if that hits. Okay. Take the last little bit of your black. Now it's up to you how you want to do this uh, this seat. Um, we're going to wrap this in here at this pinch twist in the middle of the body. And take it to the back pinch twist. Now if you want, you can leave it up like this so that the seat has a back. If you don't like that, just break this off and, and tie it into those two pinch twists. Okay, it's totally up to you. Uh, that's one of the things I love about this design is that uh, you can make so many changes to it to come up with different kinds of motorcycles. Okay, the last thing we need is a 160, whatever color you want for the handlebars. Uh, I'm going to go with gray because I have a gray here. And I'm doing short handlebars, so I really only need uh, a partial. 
So I've got a partial balloon here. I'm going to do a small bubble. I'm going to do two pinch twists. One. You can get away with one if you want. Um, I like to do two because one tends to come undone. One sixties, for some reason, uh, come untwisted on me. The other thing is I can get not quite a full 90 degree angle. If you do two, you've got a little bit more. You know, I can have a full 90 or I can have uh, a lesser angle. Okay, come about four fingers down. Match that four fingers back the other direction. Two pinch twists. It's okay if you let that middle twist come undone, okay, like I did. Two pinch twists. Small bubble. And break off the rest. Tie that off. Find the center again between those two. And we're going to twist this. We're going to attach it right here to these two pinch twists. And on this design, on this particular design, I like to put one pinch twist on top of the other so that the handlebars are sticking out to the side like that. Okay. That's it. You're done. Let me bring back the other the other design. Okay, now the first thing you'll notice are the different handlebars. I've put three pinch twists in the front instead of two, and that's so that I can get these uh, longer handlebars at a different angle. Right, so they aren't sticking quite as flat, they're sticking more up and back. Okay. Uh, I've got the front fork here is a little bit longer, not a lot, but a little bit. If you want, you can really exaggerate it and make it a lot longer. I did not put the pinch twist in the middle here. Okay, By not putting the pinch twist there, that makes this V a little bit. Um, and there are several things that I do actually to get that V. I don't have that pinch twist there. I've made these bubbles smaller. Okay. See these? See how big these are right here? These are much smaller, and I've turned them sideways, uh, so they're they're oriented a little bit differently. Uh, and then the other thing I did is I pull apart the back part of these two bubbles, and I push that one in, okay, to give it a different shape and to give me that V, as opposed to this one that goes straight across. And the last thing I did was. On this back section here, instead of just doing one back section, I split that into two to give me a little bit of a back fender here. Okay, So that is the changes. Those are the changes that I made. Um, but play around with this. This actually is a design based off of something that I saw on Michael Floyd's forum, balloon-animals.com. I think it was uh, Princess Twister, I believe, who posted a motorcycle that, uh, that inspired this one. Um, so play with this design, have fun with it, um, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.